I met a boy called Frank Mills on September 12th yesterday, right here in front of the Waverly. But unfortunately, I lost his address. He was last seen with his friend, a drummer he resembles George Harrison of the Beatles. But he wears his hair tied in a small bow at the back. I love him, but it embarrasses me to walk down the street with him. He lives in Brooklyn somewhere and wears this white crash helmet. He has golden chains on his leather jacket and on the back are written the names Mary and Mom and Hell's Angels. I would gratefully appreciate it if you see him, tell him. I am in the park with my girlfriend, and please tell him Angela and I don't want the two dollars back, just him. Hey everybody, welcome to Cabin Fever! Don't wanna be an American idiot Don't want a nation under the new media And can you hear the sound of hysteria? Subliminal mindfuck America Welcome to our new kind of tension All across the alienation Where everything isn't meant to be okay Television dreams of tomorrow We're not the ones who meant to follow But that's enough to argue Maybe I'm the faggot America I'm not a part of a redneck agenda Now everybody do the propaganda And sing along the age of paranoia Welcome to a new kind of tension All across the alien nation Where everything isn't meant to be okay Television dreams of tomorrow We're not the ones who meant to follow For that's enough to argue Controlled by the media Information age of hysteria It's calling out to the idiot America Welcome to a new kind of tension All across the alien nation Where everything isn't meant to be okay Television dreams of tomorrow We're not the ones who meant to follow For that's enough to argue How's it going? Welcome to my house. This is Cabin Fever, Episode 7, Broadway. Um, songs from the musical theater, songs that mean something to me, songs that I love. This is, um, we've been doing Cabin Fever for almost six years now, and it's been a few years since the last one, and I thought, hey, why not? Let's do songs about theater. Um, how did I choose these songs? The first song we heard today was um, from Hair. This is a song that I've been singing with my friends for fun forever. Uh, Frank Mills from Hair, and then, of course, um, American Idiot from the show by the same name, but 
I found it first on the Green Day album. Um, let's see, how did I pick these songs? These are songs that I have either seen the show and loved or just had the soundtrack and loved. I did go on Facebook and ask you for your suggestions of things that I should sing for this, and then I ignored all of them and just did the ones that I wanted to do. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, we have an amazing show in store for you. There are lots of special guests coming virtually and here actually in the cabin. And um, sit back, relax, enjoy. Um, hopefully everything's working fine for you. If you want to talk to other people who are watching it, use the hashtag CFBWY for Cabin Fever Broadway. And um, talk to people online. And if you have memories of any of these songs or if they... Um, you were in them or they make you think of other songs, um, please share that too. This is one of the best things that I find talking to people about musical theater is it's often things they found as a kid um, or things they shared with their family or memories of um, productions that they were in. And these songs function like, I don't know, little souvenirs in a way that sometimes rock music doesn't. Um, all right, all of that said, one more thing before we get back to music. Um, this whole project is um, a benefit for two very important uh, charities, Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS, self-explanatory, and uh, the Theater Development Fund, which helps people afford tickets. As you know, if you want to go see something on Broadway, it's very expensive. So, um, okay, this song I'm so excited to play for you. Um, this is from Annie Get Your Gun, Irving Berlin, 1946. I wished this musical had been my high school musical. It was not. It was not. I'm not going to tell you what my high school musical was. But I had dreamt all my life of being Annie and Annie Get Your Gun, and it didn't happen. This is the song I really wanted to sing. Taking stock of what I have and what I haven't, what do I find? The things I've got will keep me satisfied Checking up on what I have and what I haven't What do I find? A healthy balance on the credit side I got no diamond, I got no pearl Still I think I'm a lucky girl I've got the sun in the morning and the moon at night No mansion, I got no yacht. Still, I'm happy with what I got. I got the sun in the morning and the moon at night. Sunshine it gives me a lovely day. Moonlight it gives me the Milky Way. Got no checkbooks, I got no banks. Still, I'd like to express my thanks. I've got the sun in the morning and the moon at night. And with the sun in the morning and the moon in the evening, I'm all right. I forgot to tell you guys, you know it has that really nice thing where you answer? Why don't yeah. you guys answer? You know that answer? I've got the sun in the morning, I've got the sun, sun in the morning. Yeah, that's it. Okay, great. Okay, great. Here we go. Second time through. I got no butler. I got no maid. Still, I think I've been overpaid. I've got the sun in the morning and the moon at night. I've got the sun in the morning and the moon at night. I've got no silver. I got no gold. What I got can't be bought or sold. I've got the sun in the morning and the moon at night. I've got the sun in the morning and the moon at night. Sunshine. That was great. Give me a lovely day Moonlight brings me the Milky Way I got no heirlooms for my kin Made no will but when I cash in I'll leave the sun in the morning and the moon at night And with the sun in the morning and the moon in the evening I'm doing all right I'm doing all right. She's doing all right. That was great singing. That was great singing from the audience. <laughs> the audience is on my porch. Um, if you're following along online, you can see a picture of them. But they did a great job. <clears throat> so 
It is a tradition on Cabin Fever to have special guests, right? What's the use of having a party on the internet if people also don't come over to join you? So our first special guest, it's time for our first special guest now. Um, this is a wonderful performer that I've had a chance to work with personally, and um, he's a new friend, and I adore, I adore the tune that he's brought to Cabin Fever today, um, Julian Fleischer. Hello, Aaron McEwen. No, Aaron McKeown and all of your uh, delightful friends who like to uh, watch your beautiful video broadcast. Um, I'm not sure which episode we're on, but I understand the theme is Broadway, and what could be more appropriate, because I've never been on Broadway, but I plan to be one time soon. Um, you'll probably beat me there, because your musical is uh, headed there soon. And while it might be, it's a beautiful piece, and I was delighted to have been a part of it, even though you... Um, fired me after one reading. I mean, I don't know, what, I only had seven lines. I can't, I can't be sure exactly what I did wrong. But at any rate, um, I'm delighted to be able to present to you a song uh, from the great uh, Broadway songbook, um, uh, a catalog to which I am quite devoted. This is a song that uh, I first heard as a child when my mother took me from my hometown of Baltimore to the nearby burg of Washington to the uh, Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts where I saw this musical uh, just weeks before it arrived on Broadway, and I would say, you know, blew the roof off the place. And uh, I hope you enjoy this tune. It's uh, meant a lot to me over the years, and uh, it goes a little something like this. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Thinking about tomorrow uh, clears away the cobwebs and the sorrow till there's none. When I'm stuck with a day that's gray and lonely, just take out my chin and a grin and say, Oh, the sun will come out tomorrow, so you gotta hang on till tomorrow. Come what may, hey, tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you tomorrow, you're only a day away. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you, love you, love you, love you tomorrow, you're only, you're only, you're only a day away. Julian Fleischer, Julian Fleischer everybody. everybody. Oh my god, oh what's my happening? God. Sorry about that. Um, I had Julian Fleischer blasting in my house because I wanted to enjoy his amazing rendition of Tomorrow, which comes from Annie, 1977, Charles Strauss, Martin Charnin. Um, it's important to me that you all know who wrote these songs and where they came from, right? Who makes things matter? Um, Julian made mention that I fired him from my musical. That's not exactly true. We moved on from him. Um, but I made a friend in the process. And yes, it's true, I'm writing a musical with the outstanding, talented, and amazing uh, playwright, Kiara Hudis. And um, we've been working on our musical for a few years. Um, hopefully this fall I'll be able to tell you more special things about it. I'm super superstitious, so I, I don't want to say anything now. And I thought about playing you a song from it, and maybe I even promised you I'd play a song from it, but I'm not gonna. Sorry, guys. And we're on a 10-second delay, so that's 10 seconds until I get to see your wrath on the internet. And I'll use that moment to take a drink and get ready for it. But no, there's no... I'm not going to play anything from my musical today. 
And okay, you can start. And um, I also heard through my friend Brian Kay, who is delightfully live tweeting the episode from all my accounts, that um, someone did did wonder if the song "Let It Go" was going to make an appearance on today's today's episode. Let me assuage your fears now. That song is not on the set list. Not on the set list. That's all I'm going to say about it. Um, the hits keep coming. The special guests continue. Um, I would love to welcome you and have you meet. My neighbor, Michael. Come on in, Michael. Hi. (laughs) This is insane. This is insane. Pull up a chair, please. Hey, everybody. That's my neighbor, Michael. Hi. Um, Oh, my God. Michael. Michael is an outstanding singer and dancer and has been on Broadway. He has actually been on Broadway. A long time ago. Yes, but now you're in my house and Cabin Fever Broadway, and um, we are going to do a fantastic, one of my favorite songs um, ever, and I must admit, I didn't know this was from a musical. I knew it because of the Beatles. Oh. Isn't that sad? I didn't know the Beatles sang it. Oh, Isn't that this sad? is why we're a perfect match. <laughs> um, would you step on that white pedal? Oh, you don't have to. Everything's good. You step sure? on the green one? Yep. Okay, great. Did that work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, not that anyone will be able to hear the difference, but I'll know the difference. Okay, um, do you want to say anything about um, this is a song from The Music Man you've been in The Music Man I have been in The Music Man three times <laughs> it's true I have never played either a role that sings the song however no, it's true. but I love I'm a huge 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 Music Man fanatic Yay. I love it yeah, so. Meredith Wilson wrote The Music Man 1957 a man Meredith Wilson that's correct Sadly, that, a man. I don't that's important. No, yeah. it's important because later we're going to talk about um, <laughs> some very important female composers. So. Yes, no, we good. are. I'm glad you brought that up. And I think technically this is now called Meredith Wilson's The Music Man. Oh, I think that's it's like what I'm going to do. Yeah. <laughs> My musical. It's not going to have a name anymore. It's going to be Aaron and Kiara's blah, blah, blah. That's right. Okay. Um, are you ready? Enjoy, yeah, I'm sure. so excited. Here we are. There were bells on the hill But I never heard them ringing No, I never heard them at all Till there was you There were birds in the sky That's where they were But I never saw them winging I never saw them at all Till there was you, 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 you And there was music And there were wonderful roses They tell me in sweet Fragrant meadows of dawn And you there was, love there was love all around, all around. but I never uh, heard it singing. No, I never heard, heard it, it at, at all, all till there was you. No, I never heard, heard it, it at, at all till there was. You. Yes. Not bad. That was fantastic. <laughs> Thank you guys, you, it's my neighbor Michael. Bye, everybody. It's my neighbor Michael. I love you. Bye. I You're love amazing. You too. You're amazing. I mean, with neighbors like this, no wonder I love living in Massachusetts. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. This is what's about to happen next is the hardest, the hardest thing I'm gonna try to do today. Um, there's been a couple really, you know, we've, we've, so far, I guess American Idiot is pretty contemporary, but, um, and I've tried to have a mix through the set list of things that are sort of new and classic. Um, there are two brand new musicals that are still playing on Broadway that um, I have seen and I have loved, loved, loved. So I'm gonna play you something from each of them. I'm gonna start with Hamilton. Um, book, music, lyrics by Lin-Manuel Miranda, um, 
directed by Tommy Kale, um, very, very wonderful men who allowed me to come see a bit of their rehearsal as they were working on it. And um, I saw the show and it's off-Broadway incarnation and now it's on Broadway. I mean, what can I tell you about it? It basically tells the story of Alexander Hamilton, one of our founding fathers, through hip hop. Um, the founding of America then played by people who look like America now. So it's a cast that's almost entirely people of color and it's done with hip hop music. I always hate that phrase, hip hop music. Um, it's basically contemporary music, right? Things that um, we all dance to and we listen to on the radio and it's amazing and wonderful to have that back in the theater. Um, it's, I think that's an amazing proposition. It's something that inspires me a great deal to have fewer lines between what is theater music and what is pop music. So I am going to try a song from Hamilton for you. So I want to remind you that um, in doing all this, I am, <laughs> I am acting as the orchestra, <laughs> as the musical director, and as the singer at once. And um, in this particular song especially, it's worse than trying to walk and chew gum at the same time or pat your head and rub your belly or any of those multitasking things. Um, so I'm going to give this my best shot. Um, please, I'm apologizing to the genius Mr. Miranda right now for my flow in this situation. His is much more interesting and much better, but in order to at least even hang on for dear life in this situation, um, I had to go with kind of the simplest bit possible. So after all of that, this is the opening number from Hamilton. How does a bastard, orphan, son of a whore and a Scotsman dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean by providence, impoverished in squalor, grow up to be a hero and a scholar. The ten dollar founding father without a father got a lot farther by working a lot harder, by being a lot smarter, by being a self starter. By fourteen, they had placed him in charge of the trade and charter. And every day, while slaves were being slaughtered or carted away across the waves, our Hamilton kept his guard up. Inside he was longing for something to be a part of The brother was ready to beg, steal, borrow, or barter Then a hurricane came and devastation reigned And our man saw his future drip, dripping down the drain Put a pencil to his temple, connected it to his brain And he wrote his first refrain, a testament to his pain When the word got around they said This kid's insane man took up a collection Just to send him to the mainland Said get your education, don't forget from when you came and the world is gonna know your name what's your name Alexander Hamilton his name is Alexander Hamilton and there's a million things he hasn't done but just you wait just you wait when he was ten his father split full of it debt ridden two years later see Alexander's mother bedridden half dead sitting in the own sick the scent thick Alex got better but his mother went quick moved in with a cousin the cousin committed suicide left him with nothing but ruined pride something new inside a voice saying Alex you gotta fend for your stuff he started retreating reading every treatise on the shelf there would have been nothing left to do for someone less astute he would have been dead and destitute without a cent of restitution working clerk and started working for his landlord trading sugar cane other things that he can't afford scanning every book that he can get his hands on planning for the future see him now as he stands on the bow of a ship headed for a new land in new york you can be a new man the ship is in the harbor now see if you can spot him another immigrant Coming up from the bottom His enemies destroyed his rep America forgot him and me Well I'm the damn fool that shot him Alexander Hamilton We were waiting in the weeds for you You could never back down You always had to speak your mind But Alexander Hamilton We could never take your deeds from you in our cowardice and shame We will try to destroy your name The world will never be the same Alexander Yeah, I'm 
the damn genius that shot him. You guys, I made it through. That was brilliant. Thank yes. you. I'm so glad. I'm so glad to be done with that part. That was hard. Um, I want to tell you. I forgot to tell you. I think it did okay with that. I forgot to. You should check out the. You should check out the original. The soundtrack comes out. Uh, the cast recording comes out September 25th, of quite soon. So um, you can hear that soon. I forgot to tell you the most important thing that this opening of Hamilton is told by Aaron Burr, the sitting vice president who shot him dead. Um, maybe you gathered that from the song because it's a well-written character song, and you could probably get that. I'm the damn fool that shot him. Um, Man, everything is smooth sailing after that. Um, you are watching Cabin Fever, Episode 7, Broadway. And um, I want to remind you that if you're watching on, um, hopefully you're watching on airmccown.com slash Cabin Fever. And um, when we're done here, nose around the site. All the other six episodes are there streaming. You can watch them. Fantastic special guests over the years. Really fun themes um, and shows. And, of course, don't forget that this is all a benefit for Broadway Cares, Equity fight a Fights, AIDS, and the Theater Development Fund. Um, don't forget also, please talk to each other with the hashtag CFBY and... Um, and here we go, we're gonna keep playing music. This is my mug from uh, the outstanding artist, Peter Mulvey, uh, who is no stranger to webcasting himself. All right, so we're gonna go back in time again, and we're gonna go to 1950 to my favorite musical ever, and the role that someday I would imagine playing in community theater, which is Miss Adelaide in Guys and Dolls. And this is my favorite of her songs. And um, I am that much of a nerd that I wrote a paper about this song in college. The average unmarried female, basically insecure, due to some long frustration may react psychosomatic symptoms difficult to endure affecting the upper respiratory tract in other words just from waiting around for the plain little band of gold a person can develop a cold you can spray her wherever you figure the streptococci guy lurk you can give her a shot for whatever she's got and it just won't work if she's tired again the fish eye from the hotel clerk a person can develop a cold. The female remaining single, just in the legal sense, shows a neurotic tendency, see note, tendency, see note. Oh my god, I had to do it. See note. <laughs> Chronic organic syndromes, toxic or hypertense, Affecting the eye, the ear, the nose, and throat. In other words, just from worrying if the wedding is on or off, a person can develop a cough. You can feed her all day with the vitamin A and the bromo fizz, but the medicine never gets anywhere near where the trouble is. If she's getting a kind of a name for herself and the name ain't his, a person can develop a cough. And furthermore, just from stalling and stalling and stalling the wedding trip, a person can develop blood grip. When they get on the train to Niagara, she can hear church bells chime. The compartment is air conditioned and the mood sublime. Then they get off at Saratoga for the 14th time. A person can develop la grip, la grip, la post-nasal drip with the wheezes and the sneezes and a sinus that's really a pip. From the lack of community property and a feeling she's getting too old, a person can develop a bad, bad cold. Thank you very much. All right. I think it's time for another special guest here on Cabin Fever. I'm very excited to welcome our next guy. 
Um, he has the most outstanding job that you could possibly imagine. Um, this is my friend Josh Cantor, who plays the organ at a little band box called Fenway Park. Hello there, everyone. Many thanks to the wonderful Erin McKeown for inviting me to be part of her Cabin Fever Broadway show. I'm recording this while taking a short break from writing my rock opera. It's about a Major League Baseball organist who naturally is also a crime-fighting superhero in his spare time. I'm sure you're going to love that. Uh, one of the things that I know about Broadway is the importance of good set decoration. So I've brought with me uh, three lovely set pieces here to help establish the mood. The first is the 1966 masterpiece LP Red Sox Organ Music, performed by John Kiley, the Dean of Boston Sports Organists. I also have my autographed black and white photo of Al Melgard, one of the early pioneers of sports organ music, despite having lost his left index finger as a small child. True story. And last but certainly not least, I have here a bobblehead doll of Carlton Fisk, waving the ball fair on his winning home run in the 12th inning of Game 6 of the 1975 World Series. A classic. Thanks for being here, Pudge. The song I would like to play for you is from the 1955 Broadway show, Damn Yankees. The title of the song is Heart. It's perhaps better known uh, by its refrain, which is, You Gotta Have Heart. And I really like this song because uh, I find that it cheers me up uh, whenever things are not going well in baseball or whenever things are not going well in life. And this is how it goes. <laughs> Hey everybody, that was Josh Cantor, the organist at Fenway Park in Boston, playing, of course, Damn Yankees, which is something we all feel in our hearts. 
damn Yankees. Um, that is, uh, I want to tell you who that's written by. Richard Adler and Jerry Ross from 1955, damn Yankees. Um, we're going to swing from 1955 all the way now to the present to the um, other contemporary musical that I saw re recently that is fantastic. This musical actually won the Tony this year for Best Musical. It's Fun Home by Janine Tesori and Lisa Crone. And um, it is notable as, um, I believe, um, I believe I should have looked this up, but basically there's very few women, either they're the first or they're the second or third, a ridiculously stupidly small number of all women writing teams that have won Tonys. And um, very few women composers. What up, women composers? So thank you, Janine Tesori, you are my queen. Lisa Crone, you are who I want to be in life. Um, it's the best thing I can do to, to sing one of your songs from your musical today. Um, Fun Home, if you don't know, is is based on the graphic memoir of Alison Bechtel, who has been familiar to those of us in the queer community for many, many years for dykes to watch out for. And it's been exciting that both Fun Home and Are You My Mother, which is her memoir about her mother, I highly recommend. I don't know if I'd turn that into a musical. Um, but anyway, they're fantastic books that have brought her more mainstream attention, which is really exciting. Um, so that basically, I'm not going to tell you too much about um, the story of Fun Home, but um, this particular song is sung by, the, I think one of the exciting things Fun Home does is it takes the central character of Allison, and it gives her to three actresses who portray her at different times in her life. So there's small Allison, medium Allison, and Allison, who is the grown-up one. And so this is a song sung by small Allison, and it describes the moment where she first saw someone who she could be like, right? Uh, for those of us who don't fit into maybe gender, sexuality um, boxes, it can be really important as a small child to see something different and someone different who you see yourself in. So this is not a song about sexual attraction um, or sexual desire. This is a song about identification and about the first time you sort of see who you could be. And I have to say that I have myself worn a large ring of keys on my belt and have recognized the same signal in other people. So please remember that this is being sung by someone who's probably 10 or so. Someone just came in the door like no one I ever saw before. I feel, I feel, I don't know where you came from, I wish I did, I feel so dumb, I, I feel, I, your swagger and your bearing and the just right clothes you're wearing. Your short hair and your dungarees and your lace-up boots And your keys, oh, your ring of keys I thought it was supposed to be wrong you seem okay with being strong. I want to. Um, you are so. It's probably conceited to say, but I think we're alike in a certain way. I. I um. Your swagger and your bearing and the just right clothes you're wearing. Your short hair and your dungarees and your lace-up boots And your keys, oh, your ring of keys Do you feel my heart saying hi In this whole luncheonette why am I the only one who sees your beautiful? No, handsome. Your swagger and your bearing and the just right.
clothes you're wearing, your short hair and your dungarees and your lace-up boots, and your keys, oh, your ring of keys. I know you, I know you, I know you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Brian Kay is actually now sitting like right there. So check out Cabin Fever Broadway, CFBY, BWY, B, C, F, B, W, you know, that hashtag um, to see all the photos that he's posting from um, his exclusive seat. Um, okay, now we're going to do something that, um, unlike everything else I've done for you today, we're going to do something I know and I know how to play. This is a song that I put on my first record, Distillation, and um, it's a song that I learned in college when I took a class that was a year-long survey of musicals. Tuesdays, we did the book using literary theory, et cetera, et cetera, to uh, analyze it, and Thursdays, we did the score. And this is a musical that I found that way. This is um, a song from Pal Joey, 1941, by, I would say, my favorite songwriting team, Rodgers and Hart. There are many songwriters that I like individually, but Rodgers and Hart as a team, I absolutely love, and especially the lyrics of Lorenz Hart are important to me, and they have influenced me greatly. I found them when I was relatively young and just starting to write songs, and, um, and I feel like they have given me a map for what lyrics can be. So this is um, sung by Joey, who is often described as a heel, and I have no idea what that means. So. I have the worst apprehension That you don't crave my attention But I can't force you to change your taste If you don't care to be nice, dear Just give me air, but not ice, dear don't let a good fella go to waste For this little sin that you commit at leisure You'll repent in haste If my heart gets in your hair You mustn't kick it around If you're bored with this affair You mustn't kick it around Even though I'm mild and meek When we have a brawl if I turn the other cheek, you mustn't kick it at all When I try to ring a bell, you never care for the sound The next guy may not do as well You mustn't kick it around, no you mustn't kick it around My guitar students will recognize this part as your basic 1-4 lesson here it is in another key. That's right, practice. If my heart gets in your hair, you mustn't kick it around. If you're bored with this affair, you mustn't kick it around. Even though I'm mild and meek when we have a brawl. If I turn the other cheek, you mustn't kick it at all. When I try to ring a bell, you never care for the sound. The next guy may not do as well You must say Kick it around uh. You mustn't kick it around from Pal Joey, 1941 Now, it's time for another special guest The Cavalcade of Stars continues And um, this is a fantastic musician that um, I met down in New Orleans, where she lives and works. She plays the saxophone, she plays the accordion, she writes songs, she covers songs, she runs a wonderful band. This is Aurora Neeland, and honestly, I have no idea what she's got in store for us.
and though God, my Father, who is also in heaven, may the light of this flickering candle illuminate the night the way your spirit illuminates my soul. Oh my god. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it's a big hand, everybody, for Aurora Neeland. That was insane and amazing, and though technically not Broadway, totally has its place. That was Papa Can You Hear Me From? Yes. Yentl, 1983. The 1983 movie by our Lord and Savior, Barbara Streisand. And it was written by Michelle Legrand and the Bergmans, Alan and Marilyn, um, who have written many a great song. So thank you, Aurora, for that special, special treat. Um, I've been checking on the Twitters, and um, I have heard that some of you are watching in cars. Please be careful. And uh, I just also just want to say, I was watching Aurora just now, and I was just thinking, like, this is something that's so much a part of musical theater. Who hasn't, like, walked around their house or their bathroom and, like, pretended to be in a musical. Um, hands up if you've been in the basement singing to the hairbrush and the vinyl record. I can sing you the entire soundtrack of Hair um, because I spent an enormous amount of time in my basement singing, dancing, and pretending to be in it. So tell me, do you do that with your Christina Aguilera songs? I don't think so. Maybe you do, actually. Maybe you do. Okay, it's time for another special guest. This is going to blow your mind. This is going to blow your mind. I'm so excited about this. Um, he needs no introduction. I'm just going to call him out. 
You guys, it's James of James. <laughs> Hello, James of James. Hello, Aaron. Hello, welcome to Cabin Fever. Thank you. Make yourself Hello. comfortable. You guys, I've known James since I was like 13, at least. 14? 14, Ish. middle school-ish. Um, and we have um, played music together many, many times mm-hmm. over the years, but nothing quite like what we're about to do. Mm-mm. And I think it calls for bow ties. Mm-hmm. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Let's see if I can okay. do this easily. You probably have more practice at this than me. Well, we're not tying them, which is good. Well, okay. For both of us. Bit. Yeah, here we go. It's good that we have a little monitor here. Oh, you look good. Okay. Well, that All looks right. really good. You good? Can I give you a hand? Yeah, please. Okay. You're I would actually want to pre- like yeah. fold it like that. You're perfect. Thanks for waiting, everyone. Okay, this that looks important. so good. You guys, okay, look good how time. good it looks. Okay, <clears throat> we are going to sing... Um, Another of my favorite songwriting teams. Um, you know, I shouldn't have said that Rogers and Hart are my favorite because right up there are Candor and Ebb, who wrote Cabaret, but also wrote Chicago in 1975. Maybe you know Chicago from the Renee Zellweger, Catherine Zeta-Jones movie, but um, it was originally on Broadway, and um, it's one of my absolute favorite musicals. So I asked James if he would do us all of us across the internets and through the tubes, the highest honor of learning how to play this song, and I will sing it. So from Chicago. One of my favorite musicals, too. Yes. I love it. Yes. (laughs) Mr. Cellophane. Ready? Yes. Oh, wait, hang on. I'm sorry to do this to you. There is a piano here. We're not just pretending. Is there something you could do to show us that there is a piano here? Totally. That's great. That's great. Do you believe (laughs) See? Playing, not playing, playing, yes. <laughs> Let's keep going. Uh. This is so cabin fever. If someone stood up in a crowd and raised his voice up way up loud and waved his arm and shook his leg, you'd notice him. If someone in a movie show yelled fire in the second row, this whole place is a powder keg, you'd notice him. And even without clucking like a hen, everyone gets noticed now and then. Unless, of course, that personage should be invisible, inconsequential, me. Sella. Mr. Cellophane Should've been my name Mr. Cellophane Cause you can look right through me Walk right by me And never know I'm there Cellophane Mr. Cellophane Should've been my name Mr. Cellophane Cause you can look right through me Walk right by me and never know I'm there. Suppose you was a little cat residing in a person's flat who fed you fish and scratched your ears. You'd notice him. Suppose you was a woman wed and sleeping in a double bed beside one man for seven years you'd notice him. A human being's made of more than air. In all that bulk, you're bound to see him there. Unless that human being next to you is unimpressive, undistinguished, you know who. Should've been my name, Mr. Cellophane Cause you can look right through me Walk right by me And never know I'm there I tell ya, Cellophane Mr. Cellophane Should've been my name, Mr. Cellophane Cause you can look right through me Walk right 
by me and never know I'm there, never even know. didn't take up too much of your time. Yes! Oh my god! Yeah! That was amazing. Thank you. That was amazing. You guys, James of James! Yeah! James of James! Yeah! All right, so we have one more special guest for us. Um, one more special guest calling in from afar. Um, this is a wonderful actor that I've had a chance to work with on my own musical, and you all got to know her when she was nominated for a Tony this year for her role as Medium Allison in Fun Home. You guys, singing a very special song. It's Emily Skeggs. Woohoo! <laughs> Skeggs, everyone. Woo! Emily Skeggs, everyone. Wearing her Sunday clothes. I'm wearing my Sunday clothes. It is Sunday, the sacred day that we celebrate musicals. Um, okay, well, we're going to wrap up. I've got one more song for you. It's hard to believe that. Oh, I just want to tell you, that song, um, Sunday Clothes, is from Hello, Dolly. All of it by Jerry Herman, the amazing Jerry Herman. Um, if you're interested in any of the songs that um, we sang today and want to know more about them, just email me, tweet me, or whatever, and, um, and I'll tell you more about them and tell you how you can get them. And in fact, if you are singing them or playing them anywhere, um, please let me know, because these are some of my favorites, and I'd love to see other people do them. Um, so we're wrapping up. This has been Cabin Fever Broadway, um, episode seven, which means there are six that came before this, and they each have a different theme, and you can watch all of them at erinmccown.com slash cabinfever, and you can also watch all the little trailers that go with them, and if you feel like it, you can go over to erinmccown.com and check out when I'm playing. I'm playing a bunch this fall, and um, all around the country, including the West Coast, East Coast, and Midwest, so... Please come out and say hi and tell me that you watched. And if there's anything you want me to play from Cabin Fever at any of the shows this fall, let me know. And I will relearn them because I have promptly forgotten them with my nerves. Um, okay, uh, what else can I tell you? Oh my gosh, just one more thing. I just want to thank you so much for watching. And I want to remind you to please consider a donation. It says next door there, tips and donations. Um, Forget the tips. Everything that comes through today, I'm going to give to Broadway Cares, Equity Fights, AIDS, and the Theater Development Fund. So anything you do through that PayPal over there, over there, over there. I can't think of it right now. It's over there, I think. And um, anything you do through that button, I'm going to send directly to them. And I will also announce the total. And whatever it is, I am grateful, and I know that they will be grateful too. So, um... Thank you so much for watching. There are so many songs that we couldn't get to and so many things that we had to leave out. Um, 
I don't know, maybe there's another theater episode in the works, maybe not. The whole thing of Cabin Fever is like, there's no script. Um, I guess it would have been better if I had written a script. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But there's no plan. They, I do them when the spirit moves me, and the spirit moved me to do Broadway today. So thank you for watching. And um, I can't think of a better song to be our finale today. Music and lyrics by Stephen Trask. The character by John Cameron Mitchell. It's Hedwig and the Angry Inch Midnight Radio. Rain falls hard burns dry a dream or a song that hits you so hard filling you up then suddenly gone Breathe, feel, love, give Knowing your soul Like your blood knows the way From your heart to your brain Knows that you're whole you're shining like the brightest star A transmission on the midnight radio And you're spinning like a 45 ballerina Dancing to your rock and roll Here's to Patty Tina, Yoko, Aretha, and Nona, and Nico, and you, and me, the strange rock and rollers. You know you're doing all right. So hold on to each other. You gotta hold on tonight. Like the brightest star, a transmission on the midnight radio. And you're spinning your new 45s, all the misfits and the losers. Yeah, you know your rock and rollers. Spinning to that rock and roll. James and Michael and Brian K back into the house and I should join me on this last bit here yes here they are thank you to James to Michael my neighbor to Brian K for live tweeting thank you to Josh Cantor Julian Fleischer Aurora Neeland and Emily Skeggs for being special guests thank you to you for watching and donating thank you to Terry Teach Out and Sarah LaDuke for live tweeting this episode as well I will see you all online. Thank you so much for listening. Here we go. Join in when you want. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Do it at home. Lift up your hands. Do it in the car, but not if you're driving. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands.